Hi everybody, welcome back to Adonia Academy. This is Maria Tanvir and in this video, let me show you how I made this carved rooster cake. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and hit the bell button. So I started off with frosting three seven inch round cakes and I started carving it to get an oval shape. While I was carving, thank God I didn't make a very deep cut I realized I didn't want to go that way so I quickly iced it up and frosted it with some white chocolate ganache. I took the fourth layer the three-fourth part of the fourth layer and I stuck it with some white chocolate ganache at the back of the round cake to give a more oval shape. Then I started carving that cake to smoothen it out in the sides and the bottom and covered the entire thing with white chocolate ganache to give a shape of an oval uh, body of the rooster. The same method can be applied to also make a chicken or a duck, I'm sure. I rounded out the top uh, edges of the cake with a serrated knife and applied more white chocolate ganache and put it in the fridge for it to set. Now after this point I'm really sorry for a bit before I realized my phone stopped recording so I couldn't show you this part but I'll explain as much as possible. I inserted two thick wooden skewers and I made a mixture of the vanilla cake and white chocolate ganache and uh, used like a cake pop mixture around the wooden skewers to create the neck and the face of the uh, rooster and I put it in the fridge overnight to set. If you have any questions please leave it in the comment section I'll be happy to answer them for you. In the morning, the neck and the face was all set like you saw and I applied some thin uh, coating of white chocolate ganache and smoothened the entire thing with my trusty scraper uh, from Ultimex. If you want to buy the same, uh, it's really useful for carved and shaped cakes. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next, I'm just starting to cover the cake board before I get on with the actual um, decoration of the bird. I'm using my Dresden tool to create like a brick mark. You can do anything you wish. Once that was done, I started making the feathers to cover the entire bird. Yes, it took a long time. I took an oval leaf cutter uh, and made patterns like so with my Dresden tool and started sticking it from the bottom of the bird with a little bit of water. Don't worry if there are some gaps shown, it's going to hide everything once we paint it. And yes, it took a long time to make and stick so many feathers. Once I reached the neck, um, I started uh, making the eye area with a little bit of red fondant like so and started overlapping it with some more feathers. If you have a reference picture, it really helps. I then take my Dresden tool to mark the eye part just to get uh, to know where the feathers should end and where the eye should begin. Doing some textures for this and then continuing sticking my uh, remaining feathers to cover the entire head and the face. Then I make a beak with some gum paste and stick it on with some water. And again continue sticking the feathers to overlap the eye, the head and a little part of the beak. Then using my Dresden tool before the gum paste hardens, I have just make the marking on the beak. I am then taking another piece of oval red fondant because the eye looked kind of bulged and not inside the feathers. So I have uh, stuck two pieces of red oval fondant. Now I am starting to paint the feathers with starting off with some black gel color mixed with Evaporex. After painting one fourth of the bird, the top part I am doing the same thing with some brown gel color mixed with Evaporex. Once everything is painted, I am going over with some orange gel color mixed with Evaporex to give highlight. I've also made some feathers with gum paste inserted in floral wires for the tail and let them dry overnight. 
Now next, let's start making the eye like so. I'm using the same gel colors to paint and give detailing to the eye. Also in the feathers, if there are some white parts uh, showing, don't worry. I've left that on purpose to mimic the real feathers. Next, I'm going with some white gel color to give some detailing to the eye. Finally, I'm using some red fondant to make the, I don't know what they are called. The rooster has these, are they called gills? I'm not very sure. If you know, do let me know in the comment section. And once that's done, our little rooster is all set to rock the party. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your baker friends. Subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.